This is one of the best and easiest AI chatbots you can create and start selling immediately to Airbnb hosts. It does exactly what it says in the name and acts as a 24-hour concierge for the Airbnb, which takes the workload off of the host. Now, what do I mean by this? Imagine someone who has five Airbnbs that are booked for three weeks every single month. Nine times out of 10 people who book aren't from that city, so they will be unfamiliar with the local area, meaning the best spots to eat, the nightlife, museums, activities, etc. And then there's questions about the property itself. So naturally, the Airbnb host won't be able to answer every single question on time, which can lead to a poor experience, which means bad reviews. And we all know when booking a place to stay, the first thing you check is the reviews. And if they're bad, it can impact their business negatively. And here are some examples of it in action. So as you can see, when the guest has checked in, it's received a text message from the Airbnb concierge asking how they can assist. And this is just generic information about the apartment. So whether there's Wi-Fi and it's provided the password, if they have Netflix on the TV, and it said, yes, we have Netflix, the remote is in the coffee table drawer, and we're already logged in. So you can start watching straight away. In the second screenshot, you can see they're asked about restaurants in the local area, and it's provided two that are within a 10 minute walking distance. And then they've also asked for places to go on a night out, and it's provided a strip. And offered to buck a cab and in the third screenshot you can actually see uh, some of the dynamic programming here so when we've said what time does the pool open tomorrow it's been able to provide information saying it's open from 8 a.m to 6 p.m on sundays and there's fresh towels in the wardrobe in your bedroom and then we've also asked does the gym also close at six and it's provided a pin and saying oh it's open 24 hours this will make this day a lot easier. And because it's uncommon, guests are more likely to go out of their way to leave a good review. As mentioned earlier, this is one of the first things that you check when booking. So in the same way bad reviews can affect a business negatively, good reviews can affect it positively. So not only are you saving the Airbnb host time, but you're also actually putting more money into their pocket. So let's get into how we actually set this up. I like to use a QR code as it can be printed off multiple times and put into different places within the property. It's really up to the business owner. But once they scan it, it will take them to a landing page like this, which is very basic, and it outlines everything that the concierge does and gets their name and their phone number. As soon as they submit, they'll get a text from the bot greeting the guests, which will look something like this. In order to create this inside Go High Level, you go to the funnel section and create a quick landing page. This is one that I made earlier. Now, it doesn't have to be anything special. It should just provide some generic information about the concierge, and it should be optimized for mobile only since the guest will be scanning the QR code with their phone. Now, once the form is submitted, this then triggers an automation that starts when it receives a submission from the Airbnb form, and it will simply add them to the AI workflow, which is the initiate bot. And if you're not familiar with these AI chatbots, you can find them in my free community where I have step-by-step -step breakdowns on how to create, build, and sell automations just like this, as well as how to set up your own automation agency within Go High Level. We have hundreds of students who are already making money within the first few weeks. So to get access, just click the link in the description. So in the initiate bot, we're gonna start by adding the autopilot type to the user, which basically means it's engaging with our AI bot and this contact is in our workflow. And then we're going to update the contact field, which is going to use the chat GPT response custom field, which is a variable that holds the message that the AI bot is going to send. So if you're unsure what a variable is, this is essentially like a blank piece of paper, and we can change what is written on that piece of paper depending on what stage of the process that we're in. So to start, we'll use that greeting message that we saw earlier that said, hey, how can I assist you today? But then we can change it depending on what the bot will output. So it's using that same piece of paper, but just with a different message every time. Now we move on to the GPT bot, which is the main one as it's basically the brain of the bot. It has two triggers, contact changed and customer replied. Let's ignore the contact change trigger for now and start with the customer replied as this is the first scenario where the guest comes into the property, scans the QR code and submits the form. As we saw in the previous automation, as soon as they submit a form, it adds the autopilot tag to the contact and gives them the first chat GPT response field, which is the greeting message. It then goes on to this condition, which simply checks what triggered the automation. Was it the customer replying or the chat GPT response changing. It will then do one of the following options depending on that condition. In this scenario where the customer replied, we use this webhook step and this is where the magic happens. A webhook literally catches the message and sends it to our bridging software, which in this example is Zapier, but we can also use make.com as well. In Zapier, we then catch that hook that contains the message from the user and we send it to ChatGPT. We give the ChatGPT the following prompt to follow with a knowledge base about the property, like its location, amenities, the local area, etc. But we also give it rules on what not to do. So for example, we can tell it to only reply 
comply with a certain amount of characters. And if it doesn't know the answer, it then sends the host's phone number to contact them instead of giving the wrong information. And then once the GPT gives its reply, the final step is that to then update the GPT response variable in Goha level. So like I mentioned earlier, that piece of paper which starts off with the greeting message, that is then changed to whatever the GPT outputs from the guest's message. This will then go to the second trigger in our GPT bot, which is the contact change trigger, where the chat GPT response is changed like we just saw in Zapier. So it goes through the condition and sees the response is changed. So we'll go down this branch instead and simply send an SMS back to the guest. And the only thing that we put in the value of the SMS is that variable. So I hope that you can see the purpose of using a variable now. It's something that we can use over and over again and dynamically change. And just like that, you can automate the Airbnb host's day-to-day -day activities by using AI automations. Remember, the service you're providing is to save them time so they can focus on more important tasks. Rather than spending hours on the phone every day being on standby or hiring someone to do this for them, you can set up this automation and it will run on autopilot 24 hours a day, 365 days of the year. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about the software that I used, could the link in my description to draw my free community where hundreds of people who started off as beginners are using the same automations to grow their agency.